Hello guys, welcome back to our e-commerce and ERP video series where we break down the essential concepts of online business. In this chapter, we will explore the business models of e-commerce which define how online businesses operate. E-commerce is not just about selling out online. It involves various models based on transactions and participants from B2B, B2C, C2C. Each model serves a unique purpose. We will also discuss the C2B e-governance which have transformed digital interactions. Understanding these models is crucial for entrepreneur, IT professional and business strate strategies. Companies like the Amazon, eBay thrive, the, thrive because of well-defined e-commerce models. With the rise of mobile commerce, digital payments, new business models are emerging every day. So by the end of this video, you will have a solid grasp of the major e-commerce models and their real-world applications. So at first, the models based on transaction type, you can see in the screen also. So this type of transaction is based on nature of the trade businesses and the type of exchange means direct selling, subscription model. Subscription you can see in the Netflix movie recommendation, the monthly subscription, yearly subscription, the marketplace model, auction model freemium model both free models and premium models is available in the freemium model on demand models like the food deliveries online food delivery apps okay so these are the you can say transaction types models based on transaction type a business model defines how an e-commerce company generates the revenue and interact with its customers Unlike traditional businesses, e-commerce models rely on digital platforms, online payments and global connectivity. The key models include B2B, B2C, C2B and C2B and e-governance, each catering to different market needs. Market needs. These models impact pricing strategies, marketing approaches and customer engagements techniques. Some businesses operate in multiple models like Amazon which serves both B2C means retail customer, business to customer. This means the business's products is directly go to customer side and B2B, the wholesale suppliers. With digital transformations, new models such as subscription based e-commerce and drop shipping are gaining popularity. Understanding these models helps the businesses to choose the right approaches for growth and profitability. Factors like target audience, product type, scalability and technology adoption influence the model selection. Advancement in the AI, blockchain and big data are further reshaping the traditional e-commerce businesses models. So we will explore all these models in this video. So now business models, business to business, B2B model. The B2B model involves transaction between two businesses rather than two individual cost consumers. Manufacturers, wholesalers, suppliers use this model to sell the goods and services to the other companies platforms like India Mart. Global sources facilitate the bulk of transactions between the businesses. Okay, so B2B businesses often deal with large order volumes, contract based pricing and long term partnerships on enterprise software solutions, industrial equipments and cloud computing services follow the B2B model. Companies in this model rely on EDI electronic data interchange for automated and secure transactions. Unlike B2C, the B2B Sales cycle is longer, involving negotiation, approval, recurring contract. Customer relationship in B2B focus on trust, reliability and customized solution for business clients. So thus B2B e-commerce plays a cr crucial role in global trade and supply chain management. So now business to consumer model. This model is the most common form of e-commerce catering directly to the individual customers. Companies like the Amazon, Flipkart, Walmart and Mintra operate on a B2C model. Selling the products online. Customers browse the online stores, add product to carts and complete the purchase through digital payment gateways. B2C businesses focus on user-friendly interfaces, personalized recommendation and quick deliveries. deliveries. Marketing strategies include social media advertising, SEO, influencer collaboration, and email campaigns. E-commerce giants use the AI and data analytics to track the customer behavior, enhance the shopping experiences, 
Product categories in the B2C include like the electronics, fashion, groceries, digital goods and subscription services. So you can say that customer reviews and ratings play a crucial uh, critical role in influencing the purchasing the decisions in the B2C e-commerce. With growing internet penetration, the B2C model continues to evolve and dominate the online marketplace. So now consumer to consumer model. The consumer to consumer model allows the individuals to sell the products and services directly to the other consumer. Popular platforms like the eBay, Olex, Facebook marketplace use the C2C transactions. This model eliminates the intermediaries allowing the sellers to list the products and connect with buyers directly. Common C2C transactions include reselling the second hand goods renting the services, handmade crafts, online auction and bidding systems are key features of C2C platforms, increasing the buyer engagement. Trust and peer-to-peer -peer reputation systems play a major role in maintaining the credibility in the C2C marketplace. Payment methods include digital wallet, bank transfer, cash on delivery options available in the C2C. C2C platforms generate revenue through listing the fees, transactions, commission, and premium ad placements. Challenges in the C2C model include fraud risk, lack of quality control, and inconsistent customer service. So the C2C model empowers the individuals to become an entrepreneur without needing a large investment. So now, consumer to business model. In the C2B model, individuals offer products or services to the businesses. Freelancing platforms like the Upwork, Fiverr, Freelancer, Follow the C2B model. Photographers, writers, designers, developers sell their skills to companies needing specific services. Businesses benefit from cost-effective on-demand expertise without hiring the full-time employees. Crowdsourcing is a major part of C2B where companies collect the ideas, solutions and services from individuals. Influencer marketing is another C2B example where content creators promote the brands in exchange for compensation. Consumers can set their own prices for services, giving them more control over their earning. Affiliate marketing allows individuals to earn more commissions by driving the sales to e-commerce websites. Companies analyze the consumer generated data reviews and feedback to improve the products and services as big economy x as you can see economy grows the c2b e-commerce is becoming more relevant in various industries this model is highly flexible benefiting both businesses and individuals looking for new income opportunities so now e-governance e-governance refers to the use of digital platforms to provide the government services Government services mean digital payments, online tax filling, procurement system, website like the GST portal, IRCTC, digital India platforms enable the citizens to access the services online. Government portals like facilitate B2G, business to government, citizen to government transactions. E-governance enhances the transparency, efficiency and accessibility in the public services. Digital identification system like the Aadhaar, EQIC streamline the verification for e-commerce transactions. Smart cities integrate the e-governance for digital payments, automated billing and online grievance. Okay. So blockchain based records and secure databases improve the data security and fraud prevention in the governance. With the advance, advancement in the AI and cloud computing, governments can further improve the e-government e services. The combination of e-governance and the e-commerce is shaping the future of digital economics worldwide. We have now explored the different business models of the e-commerce, understanding how online transactions take